I wish it was a bit sunny, just a little bit. I'm recording. <laughs> Do you want to send a message to? Hello, Canada. I kind of miss you. We should have brought like a ton of maple syrup for these guys. Oh, you get maple syrup all over the place here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actual Canadian maple syrup. Yeah. It's expensive though. Yeah. Yeah. My mom sent me a can. So it's like Canadian it's maple syrup in Canada. It's expensive to send a can. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, my mom sent me a package. It cost like $80. Plus uh, it took like two and a half months to get it. <laughs> 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 Happy Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I, my mom sent me one. My birthday's in February. My mom sent me one uh, November 11th. And it got in March 20 something. And it cost her $150 to send. And it costed me to bribe the guy to get it. <laughs> get him to the post office in Manila. Another 100 Wow. And it was basically stuff like Santa hats and antlers. Yeah. And <laughs> All the stuff that, that she sent cost like five bucks. Yeah. Yet the rest of our family was smart. They sent it all with you. They sent it all with me. Yeah. I sent all of my. Uh, postcards for New Year's, oh, for okay. sorry Christmas okay. last year. We got it took four months. It took four, it took four yeah, months or something. If I don't send a postcard for Two, three months. It takes three months. You might as well just write it and hand it to them. No, no. But every time we travel anywhere, me and my wife will always send a postcard back to the house just to get the stamp with the postage. Uh, Used uh, stamps for different countries. Oh. So, oh. You know, the only country we went where we have not sent a postcard back is Russia because they don't have fucking post offices. <laughs> we went, we spent a day trying to find a post office and the Russians didn't even know what a post office were. <laughs> and we were told that if we manage to find one and get a cent, there's only about a 5% chance it makes it out of Russia. They tend to just take stuff, shred it, and throw it away. What? Yeah, it's. It's crazy. Now, at least in Manila, as long as you pay him enough money, you'll get it eventually. Yeah. Also, you wanted to hear my Australian story? Yes. So, we met this 